may I begin by saying that I've been watching watch The Watchmen on HBO, and you were so great in that. Oh, that was, what a great part that is for you. And yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a trip, isn't it? It is, it is. I it's... love being in a show where everyone wears a mask but me. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, when, the, when they started running the ads for the show, I was going, oh, this, this is cool. Yeah. It is cool. And Damon Lindelof, who created the show, was, I think, was his first writing job was on Nash Bridges, right? Yes, uh, yeah. I believe that's correct. And um, he was very clever in how he got me to, um, got me into the show. He wrote me a, a beautiful, I mean, the most amazing two-page letter telling me, you know, what a, that I'm the god of actors and, you know, <laughs> the handsomest man that he's ever seen. And, <laughs> you know, just... You know, just light stuff, you know? Uh-huh. You know? And, and it worked, and I guess. And of course, I'm going, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, Okay, all right, what do you want me to do? <laughs> he says, I'm going to bring you in, and then I'm going to kill you. Yeah, well, you have to be no. suspicious with the situation we don't know. like that. We don't know. Is it true that you, at one time, had lions and tigers in your, living in your home? Uh, uh, well, um, uh, uh, Melanie and I, when we were uh, married the, the first of a dozen times. Uh -huh. uh, we, her mother has a uh, uh, um, uh, a wild cat. Uh, right, preserve. Tippy Hedren, her Tippy mom. Tippy Hedren, would her rescue mom. these wild yeah. animals. And yeah. and she'd re rescue them from people who would buy them as little cubs, and then they grew up into three or four hundred pound lions and tigers and stuff like that. <laughs> and and they go, <laughs> it's no longer cute. What do I do with this thing? And and she would take them in, you know, from circuses and stuff. Anyway. The cats, we, she ended up having about 70 cats at one time, maybe more, and, and they would mate. And so when they would, <laughs> when they would mate, we didn't have all these little lions and tigers and stuff like that, and we had to raise them. And so we would, Melanie and I took them to our apartment and we would... What? <laughs> yeah, we would feed hand, baby, you know, uh, bottle feed these cats and stuff like that. And then they would get to be about this big, you know, before, and they'd sleep in the bed with us and all that stuff. And we'd take them out for a walk, you know, because you got to take them out and let them do their business. And, um, and I, I can't tell you, more than once, I'd be walked by one of the neighbor ladies, and she'd go, uh, uh, is that a, is that, be, uh, well, yes, that's a half-grown uh, Siberian tiger. Yes. <laughs> Want to pet it? No! No. <laughs> like, Mike Tyson was the, is the only other person that oh. I know that had those. The, do you know Mike Tyson? Oh, I love Mike Tyson. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got to tell you, I got to tell you quickly. Um, I, I, I wanted to go see a, a, a Mike Tyson fight, and mm -hmm. I, and I, um, and, and so I, I had this friend, Barbara Streisand, and I asked her, I said... Oh, right, yeah, okay. Yeah. I said, have you, ever, have you ever been to a championship fight before? She said, no, I've, I've never been. I said, oh, we'll, we'll go to Atlantic City and we'll see this fight. So we go to Atlantic City and I have these front row seats, you know, right, right ringside. And, um, uh, and it happened to be at the Taj Mahal where our, our, our dear leader now is. Uh, oh, uh, right. You know, had his hotel. Trump's place, yeah. Yes. Um, at, at any rate, so we're sitting on the front row and, um, and Tyson comes out to, to fight Larry Holmes. He walks across the ring and hits Larry Holmes so hard that it sounds like a gun going off. Blood flies everywhere on Miss Streisand. Oh, boy, oh, no. Who proceeds to stand up in her chair and go, ah! <laughs> That's not a good date. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So uh, I think that was the last fight she was at. Yeah. <laughs> All right, she made the main event. Also, I remember her in that thing. <laughs> now, speaking of, since you mentioned Trump, I wanted to mention this because you used to, these are called cigar boats, right? Is that correct? Well, this one I designed, and it's, a, it's a, an offshore uh, racing boat that at one time I held the world speed record for, for on, on the ocean at about, I don't know, 150 miles an hour. Or something <laughs> like that. You are something else. <laughs> And these are your sponsors, and one of the sponsors is Trump Castle. Yeah. How did that happen? Well, actually, most of my friends were sponsors on this boat, and Trump, who wanted to be on the boat, said, I, I, I want to be on the boat. Let me, let me give you some sponsorship money. I said, sure, these things are expensive. So I, I took the sponsorship money. He made me make his name bigger, and then he stiffed me on the money. Oh, is that right? 
<laughs> well, that doesn't sound like him at all. <laughs> Shocker. He, how much does he owe you? Do you remember? Oh, boy, with interest. You should sue him. Take him to Judge Judy or something like that. <laughs> that, that would be fun. Now, that's a good idea. <laughs> Judge Judy will ring him out. <laughs> this movie, Knives Out, is a uh, kind of a classic, like, all-star murder mystery film with big stars in this movie. I have a list of uh, who we have. Christopher Plummer, Daniel Craig, Chris Evans. Oh, you got Captain America and James Bond in this movie. Captain my... America plays my son. Captain America is your yeah. son. Yeah, I want to use that nasty little thing in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Is that fun to do a movie with all those people oh in that way? Oh, my God, it was the greatest. You know, one of the, one of the great things, you know, when you first get into the business and stuff, you, have, you do these summer stock shows, and, and there's like, a, you always have the green room where everybody congregates and hangs out and waits for their cue, and then they go on, you do the business, then you come back, and everybody talks and tells stories in the green room. Well, while we were making this movie, we were shooting in this big mansion, and we had we were using the the, the whole mansion. So all we had left for us was a, a little green room, a little room about the size of this area right here, down in the basement. And the whole cast would gather down there, and we spent the next two months telling stories and jokes and and experiences on sets, of course, none of which I can share here. But, <laughs> but uh, there was a lot of love affairs, I got to tell you. Is that, that right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, I learned everybody's love life. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant in the basement. Yeah, well, that I don't know too, if you but... and Captain America have something going on. <laughs> he <laughs> is going to be thrilled to hear this. <laughs> Don Johnson, everybody. Nights out. It is November 27th. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button, so please click now. I'm hungry.